hey guys welcome to js blogs uh this video is gonna be about shared libraries in spring boot application so this is like we can create common component in spring boot application and then we can use start using those component in other modules as soon as my component you know loads in the class path or it's included in the uh the target module so all the beans inside my shared libraries should be start you know start getting registered so for that let's jump over the code uh for here i have two uh, modules one is shared library and another was in, one is logger so idea here is uh, what i'll do i'll, I'll create the um, logger class here this is this this is going to be my shared logger uh so i'll com dot logger dot so let's create a log class and this is going to be my component spring component and it has one method called info it will accept a message and <clears throat> so what it will do it will simply print that message whatever uh, is passed in, in this method now uh, what i'll do i need to use this uh, project here i'll include this project here implementation project so my project is logger let me quickly refresh the greater build okay sorry it's a spelling mistake I'll create the directories here and I'll simply create one main class uh, form dot shared lib dot demo dot or let's say application now what I'll do I'll mark it as a spring boot application and I'll use main class spring application dot run this application dot class and arguments so uh, just to test the logger i'll uh, create one application uh, runner application runner or uh, test logger this will become my bean this will be my bean name test logger and i'll inject log here uh, okay so using lambda here simply print log dot info hello from shared demo library so as you can notice here it's 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 a red so it says uh, no beans of log type found it's because uh, the package name packages here is com shared lib and my package inside this i mean the package for this log class is com.logger so one way either we can you know directly import the bean here import by using import but that's not the idea whenever my logger you know is loaded in the in the shared library it all the beans inside the this logger should be registered automatically to do that what i'll create uh, one logger config here config and this will be my configuration and i'm adding component scan here so that all the all the you know uh, it basically start scanning on this package now i need to register this class with the spring auto configurations so to register that what we need to create one directory in the resources meta of an inf and inside the directory just create spring dot factories now here we need to add auto configuration so it's or dot spring framework boot now here we need to add the complete path for this class this is com dot logger dot logger config com dot logger dot logger config i have registered this class as my enable auto config so now now the bean should be uh, this application will be able to find the bean i'll 
simply run this application okay it says the okay it says the class does not exist to do that uh, just go to your shared library so this is not the spring boot uh, application it's just, it's just a shared component to make it a shared library just do this mm -hmm. boot jar we need to disable the boot jar uh, enable is false and we need to enable jar enabled true okay now i'll run the application again it should log the hello from shared library okay as you can see it's logged here whenever this logger will be added into the any module all the beans inside the logger will be registered automatically this is how spring uh, auto configuration work, works thank you guys